Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. There is never a bad time for some good friends. Dude, I'm in the bathroom. Get out of here. This is the Ace and Friends Radio Show. Fun, funny, and fast. Thursday edition of Ace and Friends. Woo-woo. Got to thank a guy. Really nice guy. Um, wait, let me see if I can find his name. His name is Joe, who asked mm-hmm. yesterday, hey, what's, what's the deal? We hadn't had Ace and Friends for two days. Back today. We're back yesterday. Back yesterday. Oh, yeah, we were back yesterday. Never mind. Okay, never mind. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. We're back. That's what He said Ace and Friends on a break, and I was like, oh, we're back. I've been out for two Oh, good deal. Thank you. It's the best. Thank we're you. Back. I appreciate that very much. Thank you, Joe. Do we look forward to uh, another rousing day? Thanks, Joe. Of Ace and Friends. Okay. Um, Somebody's asking Rob. Rob, somebody wants to know some reasonable startup costs for a, ga- a card game for their for their thirteen year old. Oh, I don't know. What would be a good card game we could get into? I have Sundays free, and if we could get into something and eventually do tournaments on Sundays, that would be great. Something Most, with a reasonable startup cost. Well, don't play trading card games if you want a reasonable startup cost. Oh, really? Yeah. Because those those like the all the good cards are harder to get, so. Yeah. So did you? So the cards that you won that mm-hmm. day, you sold both of them, right? Right. You won. Rob has won two tournaments, and you sold those both, and it turned a pretty nice little profit for you, right? Yeah. Okay. Try Uno. You know, there's a card game everybody can get into. Old Nade for next to nothing. <laughs> get it at Walgreens. Maybe a little solitaire. A little solitaire. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Um. <laughs> Have you seen the the uh, the TikTok of the guy that? That um, his wife was asleep, and he set up all the Uno cards. Oh, all the Uno hand. cards, and, and made her think her up she, was she was playing. playing. <laughs> I know. I was like, "You got to be kidding me!" He's like, "Your turn is pick up four. She's like, "Okay, oh, okay, okay, all right, all right." Some people wake up like that, and they're so out of it. My sister in law is one of those people. If you wake her up out of a dead sleep, it takes her like ten minutes to sort of get her bearing. She doesn't know what's going on. So you think she could be convinced? Like we've been playing Uno. What are you doing? Absolutely. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. But when I my eyes open, I'm I'm plugged in. No, it usually takes me a second. Like, what's going on? Okay, really? Yeah, because I don't sleep well. But when I do sleep, when I finally go to sleep, I'll You're be out, out. Yeah, and so it takes a second to kind of come. Like, I got to. Yeah, we should do that with you. Just stick a bunch of cards in your hand. Go, oh, Ace, it's your what, turn. I, mean, I said, I think I think I could do this with you. I'm like, I don't think I'd wait. I'd figure it out. It, you would. It might take me a second, but I go. We haven't been playing. I've been asleep for like an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on Ace and Friends. Okay. Coming up today, within the next, say, 20 minutes, the message that all dads want to be delivered for Father's Day. It's a very simple message. It comes from a lady to all the other ladies, all the other moms out there. About Father's Day? About Father's Day. Okay. That is uh, less than 20 minutes. But first, my snoop is not your snoop depending upon how old you are. And I don't know, Riggins, if you and Tech D. Rob even know about how many different snoops there are out there. Hmm. I'll explain next. Hang on. Follow Follow Ace and Friends on all social media platforms at Ace Cannon Media. More Ace and Friends coming up. To losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Ace and Friends. My snoop is not your snoop, depending upon how old you are. Now, Snoop Dogg and I are close in age. And so I came to know Snoop when the world came to know Snoop. You know, gin and juice. Yeah. 
Dr. Dre, the whole thing. Early, mid-90s, Snoop exploded onto the scene. One of the best rappers of all time, hands down, no matter what you may think of him as a person. And he's done a variety of different things through the years. He's constantly reinvented himself. There's the whole thing with... Um, What's her name? Martha Stewart. Uh, there's the, the, some of the TV stuff that he's done, the podcast that he's done. He always is constantly changing, reinventing, but he's always kept an air of cool to every age group, it seems. Even, you know, uh, Gen Z seems to think that Snoop is cool and how he conducts himself. But there is something out there that unless you've got kids, you don't know about. Mm -hmm. Snoop has a kid's cartoon. Yeah. And it's not bad. My son loves it. It's called Doggy Land. Yeah, he plays a dog, right? All the characters are dogs. Yeah. And a lot of what they do is take old kid songs and they kind of, you know, hip hop them up a little bit. Mm -hmm. the lyrics are still the same. They just add a cool beat to it. Maybe they change the rhythm just a little bit, but it's all the same thing. But there is one thing that they do that I find to be odd. In all these songs, there's one about taking, you know, being responsible. There's one about uh, minding your parents. They're mm. like socially good things. And I've watched it a couple of times. Dax really likes the show. Oh, Dad, I thought for some reason I thought you were going to say Cade. I was like, okay, I mean, that's interesting. No, Cade's 21. Yeah, I know, you know, but I, I know a lot of cartoon. adults watch kids' cartoons. I was like, I don't believe he's into that. No. Dax is, yeah, yeah. Dax is into Doggy Land. Yeah. He likes the show, and he comes on. He likes the songs, but they have a song that comes on that in all these responsible songs, one came on the other day, and it was talking about, I love candy. I love candy. And I was waiting for the part where it says, you know, you got to be, but don't eat too much or anything. Nope, that's not in there. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> I love candy. It's just weird to sit there. The first time I saw it, I thought, is this Snoop? And Amanda said, yeah, this is Snoop's kid's cartoon. What? Yeah. Snoop's got a kid's cartoon? Diversifying. You know, sipping on gin and juice. Mm -hmm. That's Snoop? Yes, that's what it is. And, yeah. it's, and the messages, as far as I've seen, I've watched a pretty decent amount of it so far. The messages are all very good yeah they're 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 good messages to kids about being responsible being a good citizen don't bully other kids there's like three different songs they uh mind your parents just kind of wild seeing that coming from snoop yes it is but you know but he's been a, a youth football coach for a long time runs a youth football program people say he's a very good parent mm -hmm. so it's just kind of interesting to think that Dax has no idea. I mean, he's 11 months old, but he has yeah. no idea of who my Snoop is. Right. Who's a very different person compared to his Snoop. True. Yeah. Coming up on Ace and Friends. The message that all dads want their wives or girlfriends, baby mamas are here. When it comes to Father's Day gifts, simple, effective. Next. Follow, follow. follow Ace and Friends on all social media platforms at Ace Cannon Media. More Ace and Friends coming up. We're here with Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies. And um, Richard, not just mortgages, not just home sales. Now you're helping people with home improvements. Yeah, that's right. So if you need to... If you want a backyard that you've always dreamed of, or you want, you need siding, windows, whatever you need, give us a call. Check it out. You've got the money in your home. Richard just helps you find it, finds the best way for you to do it. It's very simple. All you have to do is start by going to homewithrichard.com. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Ace and Friends. So Father's Day is not this weekend, but next weekend. And there is a mom who has gone viral over a take that she has, a take that is geared towards all the other women, all the moms out there. Hey moms, I don't know who needs to see this, but it's time to stop pretending he wants a robe or matching mugs for Father's Day. We all know what he wants. It's free. Stop looking for shortcuts. You know what I mean. Oh, oh girl. What? She's not wrong. <laughs> I'm not a dad, but I would imagine that's probably First off, Solid advice. First off, dads in general, don't worry about gifts. Thank you for the most. Don't care. Most dads, dads I know, they're not worried about what am I getting? Yes. Here's what I want. Here's what I want. I expect this. They don't expect anything. They don't want anything. They don't want you to worry about getting them a gift. But that's it. Yeah. That's great. And I was going, let's see the comments. Yeah, what did they say? It's uh, the first comment, it's literally all we hope for. 
for every gift. <laughs> Thank you for posting it. Uh, <clears throat> one guy said, let's start a fundraiser to buy her something special. She deserves it. <laughs> OMG, give this woman a medal. Uh, then one guy posts, that is legitimately horrible advice. That shouldn't be a present. It's a part of every successful relationship. Men aren't chimps. Get him a thoughtful gift that relates to his interests. Any idiot can do that, so to speak. That's well, an interesting take. Okay, but the point is, he doesn't want you to go out and spend money or have to have a hassle. He's right. perfectly fine if you do this thing. That's what he would like anyway. Yeah. No, it doesn't mean that he's... And it, he's right. It is a part of every successful relationship. It's not, you know... Uh, a present. It in this case, it kind of is like just he doesn't want the hassle. Yeah, I kind of get that argument though. That it shouldn't be treated as some sort of special occasion right. kind of thing. I understand the point, but he doesn't want. But but the point is, he doesn't want you to go to a bunch of hassle. He doesn't not. He's not worried about you figuring his interests and getting him something. He's fine. Most dads are, are like that. Hmm. So, so now, you've got the information. Yeah. You're now armed, ladies, with the info. Gentlemen, you're welcome. <laughs> Compliments of Ace and Friends. <laughs> this is Ace and Friends. Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies is here, and uh, Richard is going to help you get out of credit card debt. And when he pulls your information, it will not your credit. That's it right. Ding, it won't ding yeah. No dinging. Yeah. No dinging of the credit. Yeah. We're going to find out and see what we can do you do for you, so you don't have to be bombarded by having a negative effect on your credit. Yeah, it's very simple. It's a lot easier than you think. It all starts by going to homewithrichard.com, and they take care of the rest. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Yes, it's the news, but this time it's all good. This is the good news with Ace and Friends. Hey, why have a funeral when you can have a funeral? A funeral. A funeral. <laughs> There's a guy in Arizona who passed away last month. And instead of a funeral, his family threw him a funeral. They say he was a fun-loving guy, so it just makes sense. They had a bounce house for kids and a bunch of other stuff. He was a huge music fan. <laughs> so they put his whole record collection out and told people, hey, take an album home. Feel free. Grab oh, that's kind of cool. Grab one and take it home. Yeah. Find one that you enjoy um, around 500 family and friends showed up for his funeral. funeral. <laughs> I think the bounce house might be a little dramatic overkill. I, I don't want to get in a bounce house. What a great way to say, like, hey, no. we're going to, people call it, it's a celebration of life. We're going to tell some stories. Well, they're taking the next level. Let the kid, don't let the kids worry about knowing the guy. They just bounce, let them bounce in the bounce house and have fun. But it's he for would, adults. Yeah, but he would be so yeah. happy. They probably brought the kids. He'd be so happy knowing that everybody had a good time. One last, his send-off was a good time for everybody. I think it's awesome. Get it. I want you to get an album, take it home, and every time you play, just think, man, that makes me smile. Oh, I don't know his name. Oh, Roger, made me smile one last time. No, I don't want that at my funeral. What do you want? I want people to be sad like a normal funeral is supposed to be. I want, I want you to be to... sad. And I want you to think about how much you're going to miss me and maybe have a party afterwards. But... I don't want you to be sad. I do. I don't want Ever be sad? I want people to cry to the heavens because I'm gone. <laughs> Drop to their knees. Oh, why? Oh my. Never again. <laughs> I'm never going to see you again. There's never going to be another one like Rob. Yeah. Me too. Oh, cruel twist of fate. I want them to, <laughs> want them to cry <laughs> to the heavens. Absolutely. <laughs> You want somebody to just throw themselves on your casket, Rob? No! If he's got to go, out, me too! Take me! <laughs> Somehow, that's not how I envision Meredith in the scenario. No, I don't think so. She'd be pretty calm about yeah, it. Yeah, I don't envision Meredith. Oh, no, what will I do now? In the back of her mind, she'd just be like, I don't have to pick up socks no more. Right. <laughs> what was that movie with Marlon Wayans when his dog dies? And he puts himself in the grave with the dog and he starts covering yeah. himself up with dirt? <laughs> I'm going with you! <laughs> 
coming up on Ace and Friends. Uh, it's a simple question. We're going to play you something, and we're going to make a decision. Is this accent calming? Yeah. it's. I'm flabbergasted by something that's happening on the internet. We'll get to it next. Hang on. We came here to have a good time. This is Ace and Friends. So our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies is here and he has helped us so many times through the years. And when it comes to mortgages, he's going to get you the best deal. That's right. We are the best deal. And if you're under contract to buy a house, you should check us out. I mean, you're not going to. They never do. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we're the best deal. But, but feel free. You should. And because we've used him for years for a variety of different things. Whatever you're needing, go to homewithrichard.com to get the process started, and they can take care of you from there. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. This is Ace and Friends. People can be calmed by different things. People love different accents. You know, sometimes they say the English accent is very sexy. And a lot of people just don't get it. Some people think the Southern accent can be very sexy. A lot of people don't get it. But a lot of people think that this lady's accent from Brooklyn uh, is very calming. She is showcasing a Taco Bell in Brooklyn that has been fired upon. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh. it's the front of this Taco Bell has been shot up as she comes walking by. Here we go. Who shot up the Taco Bell? Who shot up the Taco Bell? Who? They shooting that Taco Bell. That's crazy. Good morning. How you gonna sound like shooting up Taco Bell? Get up. <laughs> I mean, give what? me a break. One of the comments. One of the comments is from a woman that says, "I am begging on my hands and knees for you to do audiobooks, Queen. Please." That the Taco is, Bell. Taco Bell. Make sure the Taco Bell. It's like bow, like B O W. Yeah. Taco Bell. The Taco Bell. <laughs> Who shot up the Taco Bell? <laughs> Who shot up the Taco Bell? Oh my God. People say how calming her voice. What? Oh, give me a break. Who's calmed by that particular accent? Who shot up the Taco Bell? up the Taco Bell. Who? They shooting that Taco Bell. They shooting they the Taco Bell. They shooting that Taco Bell. I don't even know what. That's Brooklyn. That's that's a, that is too much. That's a heavy Brooklyn accent. Taco Bell. Shoot up the Taco Bell. It's a little like Marissa Tomei and uh, the, uh, uh, my cousin Vinny, right? Yeah, but to the next level. Yeah, that's like... But so I think that's the way I'm going to say it from now on. Taco Bell. Would you want to get something from Taco Bell? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. We're going to play around a classic or not next. Hang on. We came here to have a good time. This is Ace and Friends. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good? Or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good? Or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate... And years of research... We've decided great furniture is good fitting and good sitting. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just $279. In stock and ready to rock only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Ace and Friends. One of my favorite games we play on the show from time to time is called Classic or Not. Very simple. I give you song title artist you tell me whether or not this song is considered to be a classic now all of these songs obviously are very well known and today we're doing um i think it's 90s songs pop and country okay now so I'm, these songs were big on pop charts and the country charts i like this okay let's start with the country song this time uh she thinks my tractor sexy by kenny chesney classic or not i'd say classic you would rob no yeah. okay i would not I would, yeah i i don't think it's a classic I don't know Popular. why. His first hit, I believe, but not. Yeah, I, I, it definitely what is what launched his career. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Losing My Religion by R.E.M. Classic yeah. or not? Yeah, that's classic. You think it's classic? I think so. Really? Yeah, I agree. Okay. Wow. Okay. And I don't even like that song. I'm surprised by that one. Um, Creep by TLC. Classic or not? Classic. Mm, no, I don't think so. Not that one. Okay, what about Waterfalls by TLC? Yes, 100%. Classic. So Waterfalls, more classic than Creep. A uh, 100%, yes. Fair enough. 
I like it. I love it. I want some more of it by Tim McGraw. Classic or not? I gotta go classic on that one. Classic. Okay. We. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, I was kind of surprised by that one. Are we, are we not going up to your expectations? Well, no, that one caught me. Out. I, I know didn't... he gets all bent out of shape when we don't give him the answer that he wants. He did it with that other Tim McGraw. I didn't get bent out of shape right there. No, I just, just said I was surprised by your answer. Yeah, there. right there you didn't get bent out of shape. But when we said "Live Like You're Done" is a stupid song, you lost it. That is a dumb take. <laughs> well, you <laughs> brought it up two that. days in a row because that's couldn't... a terrible, terrible okay. take on your part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Boot Scootin' Boogie by Brooks and Dunn, classic or not? Hell yeah. That's Hell right. yes, Rob. Thank you. Riggins. Come on, that started the damn <laughs> Come line dance. I don't do the boot scootin' boogie. Toe, do -si -do. Come on, baby. Uh, boot scootin'. I'm going to say no. I'm going to start the uh, line dance f f craze. Like that, okay. that was the first one. You Ought to Know by Alanis Morissette, classic or not? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah good. That, thank you. Yeah. That's not even up for debate. Ooh, uh, okay. And finally, Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. Of course. That's a classic. It's got to be a classic. Yeah. yeah. Number one, number one country song for I don't know how many weeks and top five pop song at the same time. Yeah. That's crazy. I hate uh, it, but it's, it, it's classic. Rob, you don't really hate it. I, I'm, I'm, I oh, I don't ever want to hear it again. It's, it's yeah. undeniably catchy. I kind of hate it as well. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, one more. Did we do No Scrubs by TLC? Classic. No, you did Waterfalls earlier. Yeah. Well, yeah. No Scrubs, yeah, Rob? No Scrubs, too. Yeah. Okay. So you gave all three TLC songs the classic. I think so. Yeah. He did. I, I didn't give the first one. That's right. You said no to Creep, but yes to Waterfalls and No Scrubs. I just don't think Creep is his... I would, I would agree. I, I think Waterfalls definitely is the, is the mo most classic of the three. Yeah. Okay, that was a fun little round of classic or not. Follow, follow Ace and Friends on all social media platforms at Ace Cannon Media. More Ace and Friends coming up. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help. Because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. This is Ace and Friends. I'll be honest with you, this is not probably the story you'll be talking about the rest of the day. But I really wanted to talk about it. So that's why I put it into this portion of our program. Okay. Uh, normally, this is where you get the story you'll be talking about the rest of the day, but I'm kind of into this sort of thing. So last month, Apple Music released a list of the 100 best albums of all time. They gave the top spot to The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill by Lauryn Hill. Her, well, only album. Yeah. As a solo artist. <clears throat> well, not everybody agreed with their order. So Ranker.com took those albums and told people, vote on these. So they reshuffle the order based on the public's voting at Ranker.com. Lauren Hill, the miseducation of Lauren Hill, went from number one down to number 62. And you will also notice as we go through this how, uh, how much older the classic albums skew. For example, let's do the top 10. Number 10, London Calling by The Clash, which is considered to be a phenomenal album. I, I, I don't quite get it, but it's good. Uh, number nine, Hotel California by the Eagles. Good one. <sighs> Hard to beat. Number eight, Nevermind by Nirvana. Mm -hmm. Number seven, What's Going On by the legendary Marvin Gaye. Again, these are the, the, the people's versions from Ranker.com. Top 100 albums of all time. Number six, Purple Rain by Prince. Mm, that's pretty good. Number five, Thriller by Michael Jackson. Personally, Purple Rain is a better album than Thriller, but that's neither here nor there. T. Number four, Rumors by Fleetwood Mac. I mean, sold 30 million copies. It's massive. Number three, Led Zeppelin II by Led Zeppelin. Okay. Led Zeppelin II, Led Zeppelin IV. I'm more of a four person, but I think 
two is pretty spectacular. I didn't know they were lazy with their song their album titles like that. <laughs> yeah, the the first four albums were Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin Two, Led Zeppelin Three. Then it was just called. Well, there was one that really had no title. It was called Zoso because it was only word printed on it, but it was a symbol. It's usually called commonly referred to as Led Zeppelin Four. That's this has been your classic rock educational moment today. Whoa. Uh, number two greatest albums of all time: Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. Ugh. Slightly overrated, but okay. And number one, not surprising, Abbey Road by the Beatles. Oh, great. Yeah, the Beatles. This, this list sucks. Considered to be the greatest album of all time, according to the yeah. people at Ranker.com. Also, the, all the old folks at Ranker.com, apparently. Yeah, yeah. But the rest of them are like Stevie Wonder and Jimi Hendrix and David Bowie and ACDC, Metallica. I mean, there's nothing on here past, I think, uh, Nevermind by Nirvana is the most recent album that's on there. When was that? 91? 91. I think I'm there's okay. nothing after 91. I'm okay with that. Except for the Downward Spiral by Nine Inch Nails, which is what, 93, 94, something like that? Is that is that the one that has that dirty song? Uh, yeah. Head like, or is that the one with Head Like a Hole? I think it's that's the one with the Closer. You bring me closer to God. So. Hell yeah, dude. How many of these do y'all really know? Uh, Let's take the top 10 out of curiosity. I know Hotel California. You know Hotel California. And a thriller. Obviously, you, you know Purple Rain. Purple Rain. All right, so that's three. Uh, Abbey Road. Nope. Dark Side of the Moon. Nope. Well, Led I, Zeppelin I know, I know a song from Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah, Man. Led Zeppelin two. You know, whole lot. It's got a whole lot of love on. I know a whole lot of love. That's the nastiest rip. I would just punch. I would punch a window out of that. Rumors by Fleetwood Mac. You've heard a couple of the songs. I mean, you know some of the songs. What's going on by Marvin Gaye? Nirvana. The Clash. Yeah, the Clash. I couldn't tell you a single Clash song. Me either. Uh, rock the Casbah. Oh, rock, yeah, I know that one. Rock the Casbah. Yeah. Rock the Casbah. Is that on that on that album that we're singing? No. Well, oh, because that song so. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rob. This is Ace and Friends. We're here with Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies, and um, Richard, not just mortgages, not just home sales. Now you're helping people with home improvements. Yeah, that's right. So if you need to. If you want a backyard that you've always dreamed of, or you want you need siding, windows, whatever you need, give us a call. Check it out. You've got the money in your home. Richard just helps you find it. Finds the best way for you to do it. It's very simple. All you have to do is start by going to homewithrichard.com. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. This is Ace and Friends. One of the fun things about social media, the internet, whether, you know, TikTok, Instagram, all that kind of stuff, especially TikTok, can get you into something that you're like, why am I watching it? Why do I like this? I never thought I would have liked this. For example, I'm not shocked that I love watching videos on TikTok of yard cleanup. Love it. Because that's kind of always been something that I liked. And I, you know, when I, I've talked about this before, <clears throat> when I would mow the yard and walk across the street, just look at it and go, oh, the lines are perfect. Mm -hmm. It just makes you feel good. However, I love watching people dance on TikTok. Good dancers, like those people are awesome. Mm -hmm. And I thought about this last night, watching the first part of that Netflix documentary about the, the two dancers from Netflix who got so famous and, and they're in a cult, mm -hmm. allegedly. Um, watching that, I was like, you know what? The internet got me into watching this. I know who they, I followed them because I mm -hmm. loved watching those two people dancing. They were spectacular. I'm no dancer. I'm terrible. I just think, wow, that's something I can't do. That's awesome. Yeah. What has the internet gotten you into? Pool renovations. Mm. Like I've pool. stayed up like but be past my bedtime. People, uh, you know, show up at a house and that water's dark green, covered yeah. in algae, and then they clean it up and repair it to its like original state. And you're like, oh my god, that's amazing. Pool renovation. Pool cleanup slash renovation. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good I example. Love it. Very similar though. Along to the, the same yard. lines of the yeah. yard thing and all that kind of stuff. Rob, what is the what has the internet made you like? Um, this is probably a, not a great answer, but I like all, there's all these cat videos that I end up getting on TikTok, like cats being stupid and falling and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, they're not hurt because you know cats cats are pretty nimble and they can land right. on their feet, but I mean they take some they take some hard hits. <laughs> so you're not normally a cat fan. No. But the, the, the internet has made you like cat videos. I've also found out that if you point your finger at most cats, they'll attack you. I really? Don't, I don't, that's what I saw on the internet. That's what I saw on TikTok. But you haven't tried it yet. No, I don't have a cat. That's interesting. You know, and I feel really bad that I really love 
and then it pops up. I don't follow this account, but it's yeah. kids getting hurt on Instagram. <laughs> and these kids, you know, they're like falling down slides and stuff like that. And they're fine. But every once in a while, you're like, damn, damn, <laughs> good God. He just took a header right off the top of that you would have slide. Never watched that had it not started popping. No, up. yeah, I'm like, this is awful, but God, I love it. That's such a great yeah. example. <laughs> this is Ace and Friends. Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies, is here, and uh, Richard is going to help you get out of credit card debt. And when he pulls your information, it will not your credit. That's it right. Ding, it won't ding yeah. No ding. Yeah. No ding into the credit. Yeah. We're gonna find out and see what we can do you do for you, so you don't have to be bombarded by having a negative effect on your credit. Yeah, it's very simple. It's a lot easier than you think. It all starts by going to homewithrichard.com, and they take care of the rest. It's homewithrichard.com. The Richard Takato Companies. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table & Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your daily, the shopping preparation and cooking to Table & Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. This is Ace and Friends. For the record, the information I'm about to share, I don't know to be fact. Love when we start that way. Well, someone shared it with me, and I thought, okay, let's go with it. Soda, fact or fiction? Uh, Dr. Pepper just passed Pepsi as the number one soda behind Coca-Cola in terms of market share. True. Okay? I knew that part was true. Um, but how much do you know about the big, the soda big three, as they're called? Coke, Dr. Pepper, and Pepsi. Not much. All right, here we go. Soda, fact or fiction? Coca-Cola was originally green. Fact or fiction? I'll go with fact. That sounds crazy enough to be true. That is correct. It is fact. Uh, soda fact or fiction. Dr. Pepper debuted in 1885, one year before Coca-Cola. That's probably true. That's it. That number sounds right. That is correct. <laughs> number three, Pepsi-Cola got its name from the peps and nuts used in the recipe. Fact or fiction? I hope it's fiction. I'm going to say fiction. That is fact. Oh, wow. Peps and nuts. nuts. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, number four, Coca-Cola says only two people alive know the Coca-Cola recipe and they are not allowed to travel on the same plane in case yeah. it crashes. Fact or fiction? I mean, I've heard that a lot for a while, so yeah. I'm going to go with true. That is fact. Oh. That is a fact. Uh, fact or fiction, Coke debuted the two-liter bottle in 1970. Fact. Yeah, uh, fiction. Let's fiction. Just, oh. it, was, it was Pepsi. Oh. I guess Pepsi debuted the two-liter bottle. Mm. Uh, and fact or fiction, Dr. Pepper promoted itself as a hot drink for the winter in the 60s. If you heat I it up, it yeah. turns thicker, almost like apple cider. I've fact heard, or fiction. I've heard that. I'd never heard that before. Is that true? That is a fact. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I did know that. So if you heat up Dr. Pepper, it turns thicker <sighs> into well, almost an apple cider. Well, what about like a flaming Dr. Pepper? Does that, that turn into a, like a cider too? Let me tell you what, brother. A flaming Dr. Pepper is dangerous. <laughs> I haven't had one of those in a oh, long time. Oh, I got just <laughs> slobber knockers on flaming Dr. Peppers <laughs> in New Orleans a couple of times, but once really bad in New Orleans, it's, which is where they were invented. Oh, really? <clears throat> yeah, there's a... And, and the bar where we were in New Orleans is when I was introduced to them is where they were supposedly invented. I forgot the name of this little bar, but man. What's in it? I forget. It's, it's 151. 151. Which they don't make anymore. And an ice cold draft beer. Mm -hmm. And all yeah, they do beer, is, all they beer. do is shot a 151, set it on fire, yeah. drop it in the beer, slam it on the counter oh. and chug the whole thing. It tastes like ice cold Dr. Pepper going yeah. down. And you forget, you just had a 12 ounce beer and a shot of 151 all at the same time. Yeah. And after four of those, You've had four beers and four shots of 151. Yeah. Messed up. Was it the Gold Mine Saloon, Ace? The Gold Mine. That's it, Rob. That is it. That is it. The Gold Mine in New Orleans. Oh. Would I remember that night? <laughs> it was a really good time. <laughs> this is Ace and Friends. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. 
If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to Bradham Brothers. Ace and Friends. There was a time when we had a lot of reverence for the boss of the company. (laughs) Not at this work job, but some jobs did. Apparently not at this other job we're about to show you uh, from TikTok because uh, Juicy Sweatsuit <laughs> posted a video that says, Happy six years to the funniest video I have ever recorded. And she's filming at the conference table in her office. And her boss is very upset yeah. with her and another employee. understand is I'm a supervisor. <laughs> you're the employee. I eat as much freaking mints as I want to. And by the way, I didn't want people to know when I was adopted here. Now, everybody knows because of you. They know I have a fatty liver. They know I have low blood pressure. And they know I was a freaking orphan. <laughs> very, 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 I have a fatty liver. Fatty liver, low bro- blood, blood pressure. And I'm a freaking orphan. And I'm a freaking orphan. <laughs> <laughs> And those ladies are just cackling. They're just laughing right in his face. Ah, it's brutal. I've seen I see some of that content, especially in doctors' offices. The nurses are just, or the assistants are so brutal yeah. to the male doctors. I don't know. And they don't seem there don't seem to ever be any repercussions. No. for what you've done. He's not firing anybody. No, because he loves. I think all these guys, like if you work really with think? a bunch of women, I think they love it. Yeah. What guy wouldn't like even a little lighthearted roasting and you're the only guy in the office. So that means like all the attention is on you. And I would love that too. You've surrounded yourself with all of these. You've, you've, you've made it an all female workplace. Yeah. You know, you've cultivated the environment. Exactly. And you're right. He's probably fine with it. He's just enjoying having fun with him. But like when somebody like reveals that you're adopted or that you've got like low blood pressure, but Hey, shut up. Yeah. They're People don't need to know everything yeah. about what I do here at work. Yeah. He's got a fatty liver. <laughs> <laughs> it took me twice. I think he's saying he's got a fatty liver. Is that what he's saying? Fatty liver. We came here to have a good time. This is Ace and Friends. Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies is here. And uh, Richard is going to help you get out of credit card debt. And when he pulls your information, it will not your credit. That's it right. Ding, it won't ding yeah. No ding. Yeah. No ding into the credit. Yeah. We're gonna find out and see what we can do you do for you, so you don't have to be bombarded by having a negative effect on your credit. Yeah, it's very simple. It's a lot easier than you think. It all starts by going to homewithrichard.com, and they take care of the rest. It's homewithrichard.com. The Richard Takato Companies. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know there there are all kinds of people that can help you do that but not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash Temple team. Ace and friends. All right, strap in for a quick run around a few things that you might find interesting. Uh, Let's start with this. 30 years ago, there were just under 2,500 Kmart stores in America. Now, there are six. Oh, I didn't six know there was any yeah. Three of them are in the U.S. Virgin Islands, and one each in Kendale Lakes, Florida, Long Island, New York, and Guam. Guam. Yeah, Kmart. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Rob, I thought you might want to know this. Okay. Uh, kryptonite was invented by the people behind the Superman radio show in 1943. So Superman could just groan in pain for a few episodes and the voice actor who played Superman could finally take a vacation. Oh, what? They couldn't. Uh, yeah, they could the whole show give the guy because the Superman show aired every week on the radio. And the guy's like, hey, guys, I'm Superman. I'd like to take a vacation. So they had to come up with a way for Superman to just be, oh, so anybody could groan like that. Well, I'm not listening to that Superman episode where he's just groaning the whole time. Well, no, they other people were doing, you know, were, were acting and doing stuff like, hey, let's go, how are we going to kill Superman and that kind of stuff. And they're like, Here, let's check in with Superman. Uh, let's see what Superman's doing. Uh, I got news for you. I don't care what Lois Lane is doing or who's the villain in well, Superman, oh, whatever. Lex Luthor. Lex yeah. Luthor. You care about that? Not to be confused with Lex Luger. No. Torture WCW Rack. superstar. Oh, damn, Torture Rack. 
Oh, he's not doing that. He's not doing so hot. Yeah. yeah, but he's got a great. Uh, he's got a, 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 a great attitude about it. Yeah, he's turning to be a good Christian man these days. Let me put you in the torture rack. If if, if I can, could get you, yeah, up. if you can get me up in the torture rack, Riggins. <laughs> I will gladly do that any day of the week if you think you can get me up at the torture that rack. That was a weekly occurrence. My brother just like kicking my door open like, let me put you in a torture rack. I'm like, no. I, For no. anybody who doesn't know the torture rack, you're mounted on the person's shoulders and they put one hand around your neck or your head and the other hand around your feet and would just, would just rock you and bending your body. It hurts. Bending your feet away from your head. Yeah, like <laughs> a know, pretzel. It hurts, but nothing hurts worse than the figure four on both people. It, it does not feel good for either one of you. No, oh, if you're putting the figure four on somebody, I didn't. I didn't, never. Oh. It can be a little uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, but, but the figure four actually hurts. I feel like your knee's yeah. going to pop open. It, it's it, not good. It, it hurts. Yeah, but that uh, was the one wrestling move as a kid. I, it happened. I was like, I, we can't do that anymore. Yeah, the figure four can be deadly. Sharpshooter, great. Yeah. Oh, the sharpshooter's painful. Very painful. Mm-hmm. Um, and finally, something else you might like, like to know. Dolly Parton says that she would love it if the new nine to five remake involves the original cast in some way. And she says she would absolutely love for them to use her song. They're remaking that? Yeah, Jennifer Aniston is producing a remake of 9 to 5. Is she going to be in it? 9 to 5, a massive hit in 1980. It was a really, it's a very good movie. It's a funny movie. But uh, Dolly Parton said, I'd love to be a part of it. Note to Jennifer Aniston, the world loves Dolly Parton. Anything to do with Dolly Parton right now should be included in this movie. Not only should you have her in the movie, you absolutely should include Dolly's song somewhere in the movie. Even yeah. if you do a remake of it with a popular artist now, and then you want to do Dolly Dolly's original at the end of the movie or something, it's got to be in there because yeah. everybody looks for an excuse to love Dolly Parton. Mm-hmm. This will be one more reason to love her. Not all dog owners will get it, but some dog owners will get it. Everybody else will laugh at it. Come up next. Follow, Follow Ace and Friends on all social media platforms at Ace Cannon Media. More Ace and Friends coming up. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at Sweet Dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The Sweet Deals at Sweet Dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Ace and Friends. It can be stressful being a pet owner. Yeah, a lot of stuff to keep up with. Feeding and the grooming and veterinarian and stuff and you gotta walk them a couple times a day how many times a day normally weekday do you walk your dog twice twice morning and morning and night yeah i think toby gets short walk in the morning and a longer walk in the afternoon yeah it's a pain yeah it's and a racket is what it is getting a dog <laughs> it's a racket but here's somebody she's having a bad day just says that the caption is how is your morning going and it's a picture of a little dog and something automatically looks odd about his leash <laughs> when you see him. So I couldn't find my dog's leash, and I have to walk her before work. So I'm walking her with a hot glue stick. <laughs> like, look at that. <laughs> but I have to walk her before work. Like, I don't have time to look for the leash. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hot glue gun, and she's taken the cord to the hot glue gun yeah. and tied it to the collar of the dog. <laughs> and she's... <laughs> So she's holding a hot glue gun in her hand, and the dog is just stretched out at the end of the cord. I'm just going with it, man. It's wild. Yeah, I, there was there. Amanda did something like that one time. I forgot what it was. Couldn't find the leash. Dog had his collar on already, and so uh, she took what was it? It might have just been an extension cord. Yeah, and she just tied it off and then wrapped it around her hand. Yeah, she's like, look, we got to go, man. Let's let's do the walk. We got to get it done. I've done that at my parents' house when they're asleep and they sleep with their door open. Yeah. So I've taken just taken a couple of groceries bags and tied them together because I can't go hunting for the leash. Just like hurry up and go. Just walk them right outside. Oh, so not the grocery bags to use to pick up any waste. No, just just to tie them together. <laughs> I'm like just walk, take them two steps outside. Just make sure he doesn't run off. I've been there. Now using the hot glue gun, that's next level. Cord's long enough, it's a tiny dog, so it won't pull out of her head. And it looks hilarious. Yeah. I mean, walking with a hot glue gun. She said up there with a pink hot glue gun just walking a dog. <laughs> so, but you don't walk your dogs, do you, Rob? Uh, no, we have a, we let them out in the yard. Yeah. So they never, you nor Meredith, ever have to worry about walking the dog, right? 
Uh, she takes them on walks every once in a while. Okay, but you never take the dogs on a walk. No. I mean, not I have even before, but not lately. Yeah, not even the one that you like. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And no movement on that front. The dog is still there. Yep. Show Nine up. years. Still no chance of there being a wedding anytime soon because the dog's still there. She knows the deal. Let me ask you this. the If the dog was gone on a Tuesday, would you be engaged by Saturday? Uh, maybe a Tuesday. Uh, oh. <laughs> Call his bluff, Meredith. <laughs> Call his bluff. Like, okay, I'm sure yeah, that's I'm the sure. Case. This is Ace and Friends. So our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies, is here, and he has helped us so many times through the years. And when it comes to mortgages, he's going to get you the best deal. That's right. We are the best deal. And if you're under contract to buy a house, you should check us out. I mean, you're not going to. They never do. <laughs> but... <laughs> but we're the best deal. <laughs> but feel free, you should, and because we've used him for years for a variety of different things. Whatever you're needing, go to homewithrichard.com to get the process started, and they can take care of you from there. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Ace and Friends. When a relationship ends, are there rules that should be followed? Either to be fair to the other person that you just ended a relationship with or to be fair to the next person you get in a relationship with. For example, should you go through and clean all of your social media of any pictures of the person you just ended a relationship with? Not important to me. I, I say no. I say you don't necessarily have to do that. W Rob, thoughts? I'm sorry, I didn't hear the question. When a relationship ends, should you clean your social media, scrub your social media of all pictures of the other person? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, should you delete any uh, sexy photos that you have? You should. You should? I think so. Okay. 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 Um, Clearly you disagree. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm, I'm just curious. I'm, I'm not trying, a lot of times I'm trying to think well, what, what I would do in this particular situation. Um, would you... For example, when I met Amanda, I deleted any other photos of any any other women that I had, but I wasn't in a relationship with any of them. You know what I mean? I wasn't dating anybody at the time. Yeah, we got it. Uh, okay, what does that mean? It means it means we got it. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> you didn't think that was possible or something? Um, I did. When a relationship ends, is it your responsibility to immediately return to them all things that would be considered theirs? Uh. Kind of. Or is it like, you know, when I box it up, you can come over and get it. Yeah, I, yeah that that's more likely what I, what I would go Make with. it available for yeah. them to get it, but don't, you know, break your back to collect it all. But what if she's got a box of your stuff and you've got a box of her stuff? Is it on the guy to drive up? Like, okay, I'll come over. You just leave it outside. I'll drop the box off. Is it the guy's responsibility to make that move to get the exchange going? I, Maybe. I don't think it's either one of them. It's just whoever wants their stuff the, the most could be the one to go okay. get it okay. or deliver. Is it relationship rules when you start a new relationship and you have old photos stored somewhere is it your responsibility to go hey just so you know i got an old hard drive in there that has some old photos and stuff on it no I, I, okay I, sorry was that a bad bring I, that to their attention I'm that you just have asking, that? like hey i've kept some are you cool with that on I'm, a hard drive yeah, that's in I'm, your closet I'm just, <laughs> wait a second good I'm lord spitballing you're here, spitballing saying, but yeah. it sounds like it comes from a place within no, not at all. I don't. I don't have that scenario. I do not have that. That is a oh, scenario. Oh, I don't have hard drives of women's photos. I promise. No. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't. I don't have that. I was just, you know, I was just throwing out like a spitball. Very specific. But what if it's on a thumb drive? Is that different? Okay, thumb drive. Yeah. Thumb drive, hard drive. What difference does it make? I got hard drives stacked in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious! That is not what I was saying at all. That's exactly what you said. What it sounded like. Well, but I didn't mean me. I was asking questions. Hypothetical. Hypothetically, yes. Uh, were you asking for a friend? Is that <laughs> no, Rob. Never mind. Forget I brought it up. This is Ace and Friends. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. 
four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitron. Ace and Friends. Our Bring in your favorite thing from today's edition of Ace and Friends. Finding out that you have hard drives in your closet filled with <laughs> naked photos of women that you didn't date but were seeing, but you definitely didn't date them. That is not the case at all. Well, you just said it. I did not say that. <laughs> That is not what I said in any way, shape, or form. I want to get these hard drives. You said it in so many words. No, yeah. that is not what I said at all. I would, I had there were there were three other scenarios in that in that conversation that I brought up that didn't have anything to do with me either. Well, before today, I never thought of somebody putting uh, that on a hard drive. So it sounds like something you're an innovator of. Yeah. No, that is not the case at all. He's the Steve Jobs of nudie photos. <laughs> <laughs> he invented the nudie cloud. <laughs> that is, that's not what I was saying by any stretch of the imagination. This is the cloud in here. <laughs> oh God! That's not. That was not the point I was trying to 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 make or get at. Yeah. Uh, under any circumstances. Okay. Okay. Well, that was my favorite thing. Yeah. I agree. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it was going to be Rob's favorite thing, too. Never mind. <laughs> this is Ace and Friends. Hey, radio family. We've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week. Fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today.